weird place to talk about pregnancy. I thought it would be fun to switch it up a little bit. I hope it's not too windy. It's pretty nice out today. I think like 36 degrees. I already walked this morning just over a mile and a half. Today is an, a beautiful day. It didn't start out that way. It was actually gonna snow this morning. It ended up being amazing. It's 36 degrees, it's still a little bit chilly. I wanted to share a little bit about my second trimester. I'm doing these kind of in bigger chunks just because I didn't get an opportunity to make these videos sooner. I hope I didn't step in dog poop or anyone else's poop. I walked this morning for about a mile and a half. My husband and cousin and that was awesome. Talking about my second trimester, I'm sure if you're watching this, you have been pregnant, or you are going to be pregnant, or you are pregnant, or you know someone that is pregnant, most likely. A lot of the things I am gonna share with you are just my experience being pregnant. I'm just really excited with where I'm at now. I'm excited for when I share with you about my third trimester. My second trimester was so much fun. Pregnancy wise, the second trimester was amazing. During the second trimester, we had moved across the country. I kind of talked about that in a previous video, Come clear across the country. With that, moving across the country came a lot of emotions, a lot of transition. Um, moving to a new community, getting to know all new people, leaving all the people that Caleb and I have mutual friends with. You know, that was hard. Uh, establishing a new community here was very, uh, I don't know what the word is, but it was different. When you start your second trimester, you apparently, the first trimester, your hormones like skyrocket, right? And then second trimester they like kind of level off third trimester they skyrocket again and you have to learn everything again second trimester it's as if my hormones had like leveled off right like they're not as uh, topsy-turvy when it comes to pregnancy i guess you're always a little topsy-turvy a little bit because you have increased hormones and that's just how pregnancy goes and the hormones are actually really good you just sometimes see a lot of extra stuff when we moved we ended up moving in with caleb's parents moving in with anyone's parents your own parents um can be have its challenges you haven't lived with parents for years and then now you're living with parents because we were in transition of moving into our own home the people that were living in our home um, hadn't moved out yet there was just a lot of emotions a lot of things that we had to work through a lot of it is also like moving into a culture not just a community culture that's different from where Caleb and I were in Texas the cultural difference is as a whole the culture is different from our culture back in Texas and so that transition was intense as well let alone the different family culture you know it's funny because I actually heard someone recently talk about how it's it's good that we don't marry like our cousins or our brothers and sisters because you would be marrying into now I don't know like how I just heard this and it just struck me a little bit like I I don't know exactly how to like categorize this or where what more I would say to this except that it was interesting to me that it's interesting that we don't marry our cousins and our siblings because you would just marry into the same exact family that you came from never having to grow or change or be stretched but when you marry into somebody else's family and then you get acquainted with their culture, you know, you have to you have to become flexible, you have to become moldable, you have to relearn a lot of things that you maybe have already learned before. Being able to be humble and even when you're uncomfortable, just just going with the flow you really have to be vulnerable and you have to be open and you have to be okay with being uncomfortable. I think that is a huge part of living with somebody else's family. And it's so interesting because I feel like everybody 
goes through this, if not should go through it, just to get a different perspective and also not everybody does things the same way you do. It's important to know that because people don't do everything the, the, the same way that you do doesn't make the way that they do things the wrong way. Just knowing that you can humble yourself and be in a situation where things aren't always done exactly how you've done them and that's okay and that you can do them the way that other people do them my butt feels wet we also had to put the baby's room together we have to put the guest bedroom together we still haven't actually put the guest bedroom fully together yet we have to put the guest bedroom together because we have family coming right after baby's born and it has to be ready for when any time that anyone comes. We have to actually still pack our hospital bag at this point. But you know, all these things started to happen in third trimester. Um, I don't wanna get ahead of myself. There's just a lot that happened in this past month. And um, it was r extremely stressful because obviously when your baby comes, you don't wanna be moving your entire house and that's exactly what we were doing the four biggest stressors in your life are losing a loved one moving becoming pregnant and I forget the last one but there is another one we have done all of them in this past year and especially just in this time when baby is coming and we're moving at the same time it's extremely stressful plus we're also getting acquainted with the community yeah there's just a lot going on but it's all good I mean I I guess I sound like I'm complaining and I don't mean to be but I'm really not like I there's so much I could share with you and talk to you about about how much I've learned in this past summer season are you gonna be get seasick if I'm uh, moving with you. It's actually kind of windy. I hope it's not windy in your ears. Second trimester, I walked five miles a day, every day. Oftentimes because I wanted to get out of the house, have a change of scenery. I was oftentimes working through like a lot of emotional things, including the transition. I often walked a lot during second trimester just because I knew that I was supposed to be out walking, getting exercise, you know, during my pregnancy. That is something that I wanted to keep as a priority. The elevation had changed also, which was really interesting. 600 feet above sea level, and when I moved out to South Dakota into the mountains, it was immediately 4,000 feet above sea level. The elevation was a huge change, not only being pregnant, but just being able to breathe because, you know, in second trimester, your lungs are being squished. This is just only some, something that I learned while being pregnant, that um, when the baby's coming, all of your organs in your, uh, up here, like all your organs are being squished up, up. And so it's so funny because Fast forward to now, in third trimester, I like can't breathe. Like I'll get winded just going to lay down. I probably could have eaten a little bit better during second trimester. That was only uh, my fault, really. Um, we could have eaten better, but the thing is we were living with my husband's parents and family and you're kind of at subject to eating what they eat at that point. Um, we could have gone out, we did a few times, but we often just ate what they were eating. There's pluses and negatives to that situation. Obviously, we want to be eating extremely healthy during this time. One good thing about this that I would not normally choose, and that would be a lot of protein. I don't normally eat a lot of protein. That being said, that really helped me because our baby was in the 17th percentile when we got here, and then now baby's percentile is like in the 28th percentile because I am assuming that is because we ate so much protein that I would never eat that much protein. I'm more of a vegetable, you know, tofu kind of person. Like I'll, I am love meat, but it's just not 
what I want to eat. I'd rather eat a veggie burger, you know? It's just, I just have a taste for it more than a steak. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about eating sushi. I'm excited about eating fish. I'm not so excited about a steak. Sometimes, I mean, when Caleb kicks a steak, it is so good. His mom also cooks really good steak, so that really helps. Often I would find myself just wanting to cry for no reason and things would get emotional, but I would not be able to like point my finger at something. I would just need to cry. That for me was super weird, but I would just have to explain to Caleb I'm not hurt, I'm fine. I just need to cry and uh, that's it. We didn't have a home since June 11th, so we were living with friends because we were moving. We basically were moving. We only got into our house like the second week of October. I really wasn't gaining very much weight. I was staying very, very thin. Um, mostly because probably I was walking so much and some days I ran, you know, a couple miles and one day, a couple days I ran like five miles in a day and I was extremely sore at that time but I was so overjoyed to be able to be running and walking and out in the woods and you know one thing that when we moved here out into the woods I actually was really looking forward to, see I'm getting out of breath even now, but I was really looking forward to um, being able to just wander out in the woods and um, get lost, but because of the mountain lions, and uh, I didn't realize that the mountain lions only really come out uh, at night, I didn't realize that they were nocturnal, so I was always nervous during the day, you know, that they were going to come out. And um, only realize, only to find out that they really don't come around here until the winter. The first ultrasound we had, where, we, where Caleb and I were able to see baby and find out the gender happened this trimester, in second trimester, and that I cried and I bawled, and you probably saw that video. If you haven't, go ahead and uh, watch our gender video, like gender reveal video. That was so much fun to be able to experience that. I don't know if we'll do it next time, but I really enjoyed it this time, um, finding out the gender early and all the little kicks, all the little, when you feel him kick and then you'll feel that like, mm, like it's almost like a vibration on your phone and you look and you're like, and you look down at your phone. Like that, I'll often do that. Like I'll like, he'll feel him kick and then I'll be like, oh, what? You said something? Like what? And I look at my phone, but He's not saying, I mean, he is saying something, but it's not. Okay, anyways. Anyways, I thought that was so funny. The first time it ever happened to me, I was like wanting to hear what he had to say or read what he wanted to say, but obviously he was just kicking me. It's so interesting to me about like our, like the husband's role through all this. And I've asked Caleb like a lot, like, what do you think? about like, are you excited to be a dad? Are you ready to be a dad? You know, and he'll just be like, uh, he just doesn't feel ready or he's just not sure or, you know, just has all these, like he doesn't really know what to think and it hasn't really like sunk in that it's even happening yet, except we have like all this baby room, like the room filled with baby stuff. But like, even that doesn't like say, we're having a baby for sure. Like, he, I, I, and I think I've heard like a lot of dads say like, I didn't really feel like it wasn't really real until like it actually happened until I actually had the baby in my hands and I think that that's what it's going to be like for him so <laughs> he's actually out walking the dog right now and he I think he overheard me I'm really excited for the delivery day we're actually I'm jumping back into third trimester as of today when I'm recording this we're only like I think it's gonna be on the 12th I saw that going differently in my mind um, but our due date was supposed to be I think the 14th but we'll see Whenever baby comes, he comes, and that's the right time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time.